Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor. I wanted to show you this article, and this kind of goes in line with the theme that I'm going to show you in the next article. Um, this is, uh, it says the first trading platform for security tokens to be launched by Currency.com. Currency.com is launching the first fully functional trading platform for security tokens after receiving funding from Lorna Bell Ventures and VP Capital, according to a news release. The platform is accessible to all investors and there will be over 10,000 tokenized securities available there. Users will be able to use Bitcoin and Ethereum to acquire them. Okay, so I wanted to show you this exchange and um, th this is part of, this is one of the major reasons for my excitement with digital assets because I keep telling you they're about to secure, they're going to tokenize the stocks, bonds, and everything of the world, they're going to start with stocks, it looks like. But imagine a world that where you're, you're on a platform right now. You're on platforms across the world with your XRP holdings. You're on platforms across the world with about $130 billion as of today of liquidity. And that is money that can flow in and out of XRP from the other digital assets. The world that's coming is where you're going to be, XRP is going to be sitting side by side with the stocks of the world, the bonds of the world. It's going to be a liquid world that we live in. And that is what this is. But imagine, I was kind of blown away when I read this figure. 10,000 tokenized securities available there. Now, I know that I'm going to have many people in my comments section and they're going to say this right here. Well, folks, I'm about to make a pretty big point with this right here and this, and, and I'm going to send, uh, on behalf of the XRP community, I'm going to send currency.com here while I'm doing this uh, video, I'm going to send them a tweet about this right now. They're, they're apparently they're and this is how a lot of companies have been in this space. And this is what we've been talking about, but guess what else we've been talking about? We've been talking about, how these proof of work digital assets like Bitcoin and Ethereum are beginning to get attacked. Okay. And they are, they have been proven to be vulnerable. So I thought the only responsible thing to do was to send this to currents, the currency.com people, high currency com. I read the article where you will be the first trading platform for, for security tokens, trading from Ethereum and Bitcoin into securities. Why not XRP? Your customers won't have to worry about 51% attacks with XRP. And that's just a fact, folks. Let me put a period on the end of that. I'm going to tweet that, and then I'll finish this video, and we'll see how that tweet uh, has done after a while. But this, this makes a, a very important point, point here, folks. And the question is, do these companies like this, these, these, bro these crypto brokerage firms, do they want to... And, and it includes Gemini and Coinbase and all of them. How long, how, how long are they going to, and, and it also includes the asset management companies. How long are they going to have people investing in, in a proven proof of work digital asset that creates a liability for them? Because that's what it is. It creates a liability. If you're running currency.com, what are you going to do? Are you going to have a digital asset? that that has not been attacked so that your customers are not sitting there in that in, in their investment and all of a sudden oh sorry we've got to shut this down because there's a a, a, a 51% attack underway are you kidding me there's way too much liability there that's why the XRP community needs to remind people we are not proof of work and we need to keep reminding people proof of work is is going to fail it's shown that it's that it has failed there are people writing articles who were involved in bitcoin development who are saying it's failed i saw one today um but anyway moving along this goes right hand in hand with that how this is from forbes 
how STOs could drive the crypto markets in 2019. I'm going to read a, a little bit of this for you. One area of potential excitement for the evolution of crypto markets in 2019 is the coming fruition of issuing securities using blockchain technology. Many crypto enthusiasts believe one of the next big things in cryptocurrency markets is the expectation that security token offerings, STOs, could become the eventual replacement for initial coin offerings. And now they make a point that I made in a video earlier today. Uh, remember, we got up to around, I think it was around 800 plus or minus billion in the in total crypto market cap uh, back in December with the big run up. So they sh they say this, shy of, t of $1 trillion at its peak, and they're talking about the crypto market, the value of all cryptocurrencies is a drop in the bucket when compared to the to approximately 60 global equity markets at nearly 80 trillion dollars in size if the ico wave is any indication stos could have much broader ramifications for the future growth and adoption of several key cryptocurrencies that could become key participation methods for purchasing and trading these securities similar to the effect that icos had on the demand for ethereum STOs could be rise could be a rising tide that once again gives significant boost to overall expansion of the cryptocurrency market. Clearly, when when and if STOs gain traction, it could be many multiples larger than the ICO wave that preceded it. That's exactly what's going to happen, folks. Um, okay, now I want to show you the last um, article that I had here. Um, this is five things you probably didn't know about Americans who hold cryptocurrencies. And this is yet another reason why you and I are in the poll position as holders right now. They did a survey in this article. This is a Forbes article. They did a survey of U.S. consumers and asked them if they had any cryptocurrencies and if so, how much they held. Only 8% of the U.S. population owns cryptos. And you can bet that probably five or six percent of that is Bitcoin. Seventeen percent of the U.S. population does not own cryptocurrencies, but might in the future. And here's the big one. Seventy-five percent in the United States, seventy-five percent of people say they don't and have no plans to own cryptocurrency. Well, this is where the pop culture, what I've called the pop culture adoption of digital assets comes in. Right now, that 75% of people say they're not going to, they have no plans to own cryptocurrency. Those are the people that have to be sold with Super Bowl ads and they're sold with various other methods. And boy, will they be sold. Before this is over, my prediction is that in the United States, there will be anywhere from 50 to 90% ownership of cryptocurrencies. And a lot of it might be in the form of the tokenized securities that they're buying. Um, and it, it could be 99% once the entire world is tokenized because everybody has to own something. Um, but moving along, I'm going to give you some other interesting numbers from this article. Uh, there was a few things that were interesting. Um, first, they said adoption by generation. Uh, and this kind of might surprise you. Um, it says, do not have, do not have cryptocurrencies. Young millennials, 21 to 29, 80% do not have cryptocurrencies. Old millennials, 30 to 38, 63% do not have cryptocurrencies. Gen X, 39 to 53, 68% do not have cryptocurrencies. Boomers, 90, 54 to 73, 91% do not own cryptocurrencies. Um, currently hold, let's do currently hold cryptocurrencies. Millennial, I'll just do the number. Tw age 21 to 29, 7% hold. 30 to 38, 11 percent. 39 to 53, 12 percent. Boomer, 54 to 73, 3 percent. And here's another interesting figure. The mean cryptocurrency value. Mean for, for 21 to 29, 5,700. That's a higher figure than I thought it would be. For 30 to 38, 5,900. For 39s to 53, 8,700. For, for 54s to 73, 1,800. 
Um, here's another interesting figure. 35% of crypto holders make more than $100,000 a year. 37% of crypto carrying customers have a master's degree or higher. And I will tell you, I've no, I don't think I've ever told my audience this. I have told you that I, I hold a, I believe I've told you, I hold a finance degree from Auburn University. I also hold an MBA, which is a master's degree. I won't go any further than that. But I've been challenged on whether I was a financial advisor, so whatever. But I, I, I have a finance to undergraduate degree, and then I have an, uh, an MBA as well. Um, next, let's see. Where on, where on the political uh, spectrum would you put yourself? Um, this is kind of interesting. Um, the people that currently hold cryptocurrencies, the highest percentage is moderate at 41%. In second place... It is far right, 29%. Third place is right, 20%. It um, says one in five crypto holders have no money in, a, in an investment or brokerage account, yet hold an average more than 1,200 in cryptocurrencies. 7% of crypto consumers have less than 1,000 in a brokerage account, but have an average of $500 in cryptocurrencies. Three quarters of them are men, and of that group, of, of the group that says that they might get into cryptocurrencies in the f future, 56% are men. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that Ripple XRP and crypto are owned by 8% of the U.S. population, and that is it. Thank you.